You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man? You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. All right, guys. Classics back with a guide quickie. And it is guide quickie. I just want to inform you guys, or should I say, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news, is that. We're going to be able to time travel with the Capsule Corp uh, time machine. I was like, wait, what? They're adding this as a free update to the game? Now, for those who are wondering what exactly can you do with this, well, what they say that it's going to be like, it's going to be, I guess, located right in front of Capsule Corp, as you can see here. And also, for those who are wondering, this already got updated. They said it was coming. Did it announce when? All you gotta do is beat the main story, and I think you gotta do so much of subquests, and then she'll eventually pop up where you could do her subquest. I was like, okay, I hope they have dialogue for this, where they actually could have audio, talking, and everything. I don't wanna just read it and just hear, yeah, yeah, okay, aw, thanks. No, I don't wanna hear that crap. Give us the real dialogue. Man, I don't like hearing all those little things instead of them reading it themselves. It almost reads the whole thing. Why couldn't they read all the subquests too? Anyways, I just wanted to inform you guys that this is coming. The, the time travels. And for those who are wondering how it works, as you can see here, it says get access to the time machine to travel back to the previous arc and the subquest you have missed. So I guess when you're doing the missions, uh, if you speed run through it, like I guess you could say what I kind of did, you're not gonna be able to do those subquests until this comes out. That kind of sucks. But you know what else? If they're adding this, literally this, they could bring back, or not bring back, but actually have it where we could do the missions where we go back in the future and become him to destroy the androids and to change the future. That'll be a nice little arc to do. It won't be super long like the main story. It would honestly probably take us, I would say with cutscenes and all, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know. I think that would be pretty neat. It starts off with a little story. We just watch it where he's talking about going back to the future to fix everything that's gone wrong. He goes over there. They show more cutscenes of him looking for them. He finds them. He shows himself being super cocky and then you become him and fight. And do the fights real quick where you fight Android um, maybe one at a time to extend it. I don't know. And then after that, then they could end it. They show another huge cutscene doing all this stuff. And now you have access to travel to the future stage and do like, I don't know, your own little grinding in there. Maybe there'll be sub quests. This is their way they could technically add Dragon Ball Super to this. Maybe like a huge expansion. Like they did with Destiny, where you pay 30 bucks and they add all this extra stuff. But if that's only going to put so much in the game, I'd rather them just give us a whole new game like this in the future and call it Dragon Ball Super. Because they could literally follow everything in Super and it'll be a long game. Can you imagine that? Traveling from universe to universe? Because you could technically do it on here from traveling from world to world. But in that game, they could have where you could just keep scrolling through the maps for either just the world all over the place or all these different little um, other worlds you have to travel to or other galaxies. That would be dope. I can't wait. As much attention as this game's getting and them getting all this positive feedback, I could see that coming. And then all the people saying, this game's trash, blah, blah, blah. It's just a repeat of the old stuff. I don't care. This is good. This game, the cutscenes were nice. The huge monster open world is amazing. The being able to do all this extra racing, to play baseball, to go fishing, to go, I don't know. There's so much to do. I put in already, I don't know, 60 hours in this game, 50 hours. And I'm probably, I'm, I would say more than halfway done. That's a lot of hours to put in, mainly on story. And now I'm just grinding on all the sub quests. And then when I'm done with the sub quests, I gotta grind and get all the other parts and accessories. Because I plan to platinum the game. 
But yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about. And like I said, the Riley thing is out, as you can see here. Just to clarify, the time machine will be added in the future update. The Riley subquest can already be accessed under specific conditions after you clear the main story. And I got this information thanks to Haseo informing me because I wasn't on Twitter all day because I was streaming and grinding on the game. But yeah guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, rage, oh, and if you guys haven't followed me yet, make sure to follow me. Because I keep you guys updated informing a lot of stuff in here. And sometimes I'll even post myself doing some kind of combos, something crazy, show something glitchy on here that I don't post on YouTube. But like I said, if you have any questions or anything like that, hit me up in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. Everybody knows my name, shit. I'ma have this whole fucking game list. Spitting with the same wit. And I'm gonna be famous. Ain't nobody able to delay this. Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. Man, I just wanna be famous. Yeah.